closed, but recent months have brought the first tentative signs of a thaw, and even talk the border might reopen. Now, that's welcome news for local businessmen and traders, but there's another group watching developments with concern, and that's Turkey's bird watchers. Sarah Rainsford with it. In a corner of northeastern Turkey, the bird watchers rise with the sun, anxious not to miss a moment of this. Kujuk Lake is a key stop for birds as they migrate between Eastern Europe and Africa. Almost 200 species land to rest and refuel here. Some days up to 40,000 birds have been spotted. I've never seen such a congregation of wildfowl in my life. The number of birds is just overwhelming. It's sort of a case of I don't know where to look. <laughs> so this whole thing has been cut open to let in animals. Conservationists fenced off these zones to try to keep cattle from eating the reeds that rare birds use to feed and to breed in. Local farmers haven't caught on yet, though. Overgrazing is a big problem here. But now birdwatchers have spotted another threat, with the news that the Armenian border could reopen. This road is pretty quiet now, but Turkey's border with Armenia is just 30 kilometres away from here. And if that border gate is opened again, conservationists say they're extremely worried about the impact of the traffic on this lake and on the birds that use it. Like this, the ruddy shell duck. Rarely seen in the wild now in Europe, but it's here in abundance. 14 globally endangered species have already been recorded at the lake. If this bird paradise is developed as a major through road to Armenia, Conservationists fear truck drivers and tourists will drive the wildlife away. These birds are sensitive to disturbance. You approach within 100 meters, they all take off. And if that keeps happening, these birds are migrating. I mean, they need a lot of energy. They are flying thousands of kilometers. So anytime they take off, they're wasting energy. And that increases the chance of their dying during the migration. Chan's team has been netting the birds here for a few years now. They're charting which species pass through, all data that could help their campaign to get protected status for the lake. Once caught, the birds are all measured, weighed, and then tagged. Suspicious. Calandralock. This way, their progress around the world can be mapped. There are literally tens of thousands of birds here that, that use this place. Uh, it, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's one of the few wetlands of this type left and we must preserve them. Over half of Turkey's wetlands have disappeared in the past 50 years. That's making the struggle to protect this lake for the birds that choose it all the more urgent. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, at Kujuk Lake in Turkey.